Hello, in this video we will discuss about the different type of cell, for example virus toward the bacteria and eukaryotes can be a unicellular to become a multicellular plants and fungi and animals. And in this way it is the evolutionary process which that give the virus but the virus is not living in the outer environment which that is required the host but I am including in this video the all cell we will discuss about. So the virus can be RNA virus and DNA virus. So the RNA virus is important and the host is animal basically while the DNA virus requires the plant. So on the other hand here is the bacteria can be heterotrophs and autotrophs. Hetero means it depends to another organism, it depends to another source for nutrition while the autotrophs contain chlorophyll for production of uh, energy by itself. So here is the eukaryotes also heterotrophs and autotrophs. But here I am drawing the virus first of all I want to say that is the basically the general structure is look like the HIV virus a retrovirus but we can understand with this. So here is the virus contain a envelope. Envelope is made up of capsid that's made up of capsid so mere is known as a capsid so mere and this is the capsid and spike protein is used for the entry into the host and the binding with the for example coronavirus AC receptor so here is the RNA this is RNA virus and polymerase enzyme containing and reverse transcriptase enzyme used for the reverse transcription of RNA into the DNA so it is non-living and require host uh, to become a living like property so let's begin to understand the type of virus here is the bacteriophage this bacteriophage is in fact the E. coli bacteria so it will totally infect the E. coli while on the other hand here is you can see this is the another is the retrovirus is the specific host human host which can be AIDS ca causing AIDS by T lymphocytes and on the other hand the hepatitis as well as hepatitis B and C and the papilloma virus which that is skin damage and influenza virus which cause flu and coughing animal and human is also contained basically is the influenza virus and coronavirus which cause the fever and dry cough which that is recently discovered so the polio virus cause the polio is the organ fail due to the human virus infect by this so the vaccination is very important for that purposes for producing the antibody against the pathogen so on the other hand here is let's begin to understand the bacterial cell that bacterial cell is very more complex as compared to the virus so here is the in, inner is the circular DNA is known as the nucleoid which that is chromosome 1 we can say that and here is the pilla is the blue color showing in the figure which that is attached it's used for the attachment and reproduction is the sex pilla and here the ribosome is the yellow color is known as the ribosome for synthesis of protein and this synthesis of protein is the specific. On the other hand, important thing is that the bacteria also contain vacuole as well as the chlorophyll. And here is the flagella used for the movement. So the flagella is the different flagella. For example, the whole body covered with the flagella is known as the peritrichus, while the monotrichus or lophotrichus are a trichus with the out flagella. So here is the plasmid is used for the uh, extracellular DNA used for the vector and used for the sexual reproduction. And light used in the presence of chlorophyll if the, if the bacteria will be autotrophs. So here is the prokaryotes. Pro means before and karyon means nucleus. So that without nucleus this is the cell structure. And contain a parasite if. So the parasite cause different disease for example mycobacterium tuberculosis which cause the tuberculosis and through lungs is the major source. While the mycobacterium le uh, le lepra is the leprosy causing the leprosy in through lungs and salmonella type 1 is basically the salmonella type 1 is the typhoid causing so the digestive system is the major cause so the contamination should be uh, clean. So here is the vibrio cholera cause cholera through digestive system and on the other hand here is the cyanobacterium diphtheria cause diphtheria through lungs 
and the treponema pallidum is the syphilis and sexual contact is the major cause and the clostridium tetani tetanus causing uh, through wounds with the out oxygen so the anaerobic anaerobic condition will cause this and here is the decomposer which that depend to the de uh, dead organic matter autotrophs which that is depend the light and mutualistic bacteria as well as the commensalism so here let's begin to understand the plant cell so the plant cell is basically if the unicellular so the euglena is the major example for the protozoa so the protista is also cause uh, contain a uh, eukaryote so this is the eukaryotes contain two nucleus true nucleus which contain a uh, dna is the in the form of chromosome and the chloroplast organelle is well developed a use for the photosynthesis and mitochondria produce the energy is known as the powerhouse of the cell a vacuole is looking like the blue color as well as the yellow color is looking like this is the plasma membrane and this is the golgi bodies which that is used for the synthesis of protein and maturation while the endoplasmic reticulum is used for the synthesis of protein through ribosome so the rough endoplasmic reticulum and here the mesosome glyoxysome as well as peroxisome is a smaller sub organelle so here let's begin to understand the animal like eukaryotes which that is a unicellular for example amoeboid cell or other type of cell which that is the basically freely living and contain flagella for example or some other things are cytoplasm so it is used also the autotroph and heterotrophs if we will discuss about the autotrophs so that's euglena while the heterotroph is known as a amoeba so here the again is the mitochondria and here the channel used for the efflux of the ions golgi bodies and plasma membrane as well as the here is the dna are present inside of the nucleus in the form of chromosome and flagella are present so the plasma membrane is the major example while plasma membrane is just only but in the case of the plant cell contain a cellulose cell wall made up of cellulose but in this case here is you can see this is the protozoa contain parasite for example amoeba and amoeba histolytica heterotrophs for example euglena autotrophs is also uh, uh, sorry heterotrophs is a amoeba autotrophs is euglena and symbiosis will be occur from this parasitism commensalism and mutualism so in this way here is the parasitism cause the uh, is a major example the ant amoeba histolytica and cryptosporidium uh, uh, parent and apicomplexan and cyclospora uh, cystani uh, cystanis so this all cause the disease in the human so this is the human pathogen so here let's begin to understand first of all is the mycoplasma which that is look like the bacteria but it is not because it is contain soluble protein as well as here you can see ribosome and dna as well as rna soluble rna and the plasma membrane are present only not cell wall is made up of lipo protein uh, uh, with the cell wall but it's contain lipo protein membrane is the membrane so this is the mycoplasma is a genus of bacteria but that lack a cell wall around their cell membranes can be parasitic and saprophilic uh, it means here you can see the beta lactam is the uh, type of antibiotics will be not uh, kill that uh, cell wall so that is why it can be survive an infection cause through uh, to the human while here is the fungi the fungal cell is the unicellular in the case of yeast while the multicellular is a mushroom so the here is the it also the basically here is the cell wall is made up of chitin and inner is the golgi bodies vacuole and oil droplets and here the bud scar and the reproduction is basically the asexual reproduction as well as sexual reproduction also so here is you can see this is the cell uh, wall is made up of chitin and fungal cell nucleus endoplasmic reticulum as well as cytoplasm so in this way the fungi can be parasite uh, decomposer and symbiosis so that symbiotic is also uh, through a lichen 
uh, is the symbiotic relationship with 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 the uh, algae and fungi so thanks for watching please make sure to subscribe like and share ask the question for some uh, problems and we will see in the next videos